do people even care about the Dark Prince, bro? What is going on? I'm asking because I'm still personally in the process of beating the game. I still have not been able to beat it. Um, and once I finally do, I will actually be reviewing the game. But it's a little disturbing, not going to lie, of the lack of reviews of the game. It's kind of weird. Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, I feel like, like, should have way more reviews out by now. Like, I remember the day it came out, um... I don't remember if it was the day it came out. I don't think I could find a review. Um, or maybe maybe it was that same. It was either that same day or the day after that. Um, David from um, Ooh, I'm so sorry. I forgot his channel name. I think it's just David, something like that. Um, everyone should know who I'm talking about. Super buff guy that loves. RPGs and JRPGs and stuff. He's always doing top tens and stuff. So he came out with a review of the game, which I liked a lot. It was a good review. Uh, it was extremely spoiler free, so that you know that's good. Um, but that was the only review I saw for days, for freaking days, bro. Eventually, this last week. I, f I saw Noisy Pixel came out with a review, but it was like literally days after, maybe even a week after. Um, I don't remember exactly, but it was like, it definitely felt like forever after, uh, especially when you're expecting reviews day one, you know? Uh, and then recently, just a, like a day or two ago, since I'm recording, I'm recording on Monday, um, you know, December something, <laughs> the week, the Monday of the week of this, this video comes out. Um, there's another channel I think called backlog battle or backlog gaming, uh, that also did a review of the game, but, and I'm sure now there's more reviews out, but still it's just basically what I'm trying to say is it's kind of weird the lack of reviews and attention Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince is getting after it's been released. Like, I feel like it's actually been getting a ton of attention before release, but now that it's actually out, I feel like there's like no one talking about it. Like, it's, it's weird, bro. It's freaking weird, dude. Like, we got a statement from Square Enix, which basically, <laughs> in a way, was a spoiler. But they were, like, asking people to not post anything after a certain part of the story or whatever. Um, and for, like, until, like, the end of December or January, something like that. Like, something pretty long. Something, like, kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to try not to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, this whole situation is just really weird to me because the thing is Dragon Quest Die, the, the adventure of Die, you know, Infinity Strash came out in September. And for me personally, that was a very an like anticipated game for me personally. But I know for a fact, a lot of people did not care about it or didn't know about it or didn't, you know, or didn't even people that l liked the anime didn't buy it because they were it, like, but basically leading up to that game, I feel like it had less attention than Dragon Quest Monsters of Dark Prince. And then when it actually came out, Infinity Strash, there were so many reviews about it. And to the point where people were like talking about it a lot. Like people were saying like, damn, like especially the, the infamous, you know, noisy pixel review that totally crapped on the game. Like 
But everyone was talking about it. You know, there was reviews. There was people talking about it. Even people that would release reviews the day, the next day or something would were even saying like, man, this game's getting a lot of crap. But like I was one of them. I was able to complete the game rather quickly. I mean, the story model for me specifically was kind of easier to complete it because I could just kind of skip all the cutscenes that I needed to because again, I've already watched that anime multiple times. So it was kind of easy to kind of quickly get through the story of that game but yeah but this one's it just this one's so weird because again the day of there was like no reviews bro even now it's like the lack of reviews is kind of weird like i thought and many people thought this game was going to be the dragon quest game of the year you know Compared to Treasures, compared to freaking Infinity Strash, this was supposedly going to be the game that was going to get the most attention from, like, big media outlets and actually have, like, more coverage, more reviews. But it kind of feels like it's the one that has the least amount of effort put into it from, like, like, re like other people reviewing it. Now... Is that necessarily people's fault or is it the fault of Square Enix where they're like, you know, they don't they didn't send out that many review copies or maybe they didn't even care to. I know there's a couple people in the community like Sack Chief and again, uh, David, that received like these collectors like sticker books and stuff like that. Uh, which looked really cool. I'm hoping that I can get it big enough someday where I can get something that freaking cool from Square Enix. I do talk a lot of crap on them though, so maybe they <laughs> maybe they don't like me that much. But um, yeah, I mean, some people got some cool stuff, but again, there's like no reviews, bro. It's just weird, dude. For me personally, it's just freaking weird. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, in this video, just a quick little update on how weird I thought everything is also knowing for you guys to know that I am still working on the review. I've got a lot of really good notes and everything, but I really need to beat the game before I review it. I, I feel like I have to beat it before I review it. And it's honestly taking me longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, again, those that know me know that my time is extremely limited. So that definitely plays a huge factor into the reasoning behind me not having the review, you know, beating the game already. But yeah, I'm hoping that this week, by the time I finish this video, I hope I've already beat it and I'm working on the review. If not, I should be almost done. But I feel like this week I should be able to beat the story and then I can actually do the review for you guys. So I would say look for a review from myself next week. Um, but let's, let's, let's see. I, I will keep everyone updated, you know, uh, in my community and stuff like that. So, and then tying into that, you know, that was basically the end of the video, but you guys should totally join my discord link is in the description. Totally, you know, like, and subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm working on a tabletop RPG game right now. I'm going to call it as of now. Phoenix Quest. It's going to be kind of like, it's not going to be Dungeons and Dragons. It's going to be something more simplified, but it'll be, it'll have its own campaign, which I'm working on, which is from a story that I was working on for a year or so now called Dragon Quest Phoenix that I've translated into my own sort of like tabletop RPG. Honestly, it's, it's coming out to be really, really cool. It's there's it's heavily inspired by Dragon Quest. It does have elements from other games like, you know, Genshin Impact or Fire Emblem or Pokemon, stuff like that. But it's like 80, 90 percent of it is Dragon Quest inspired, I'd say. Um, but yeah, but basically that should be coming out. I think I should have it done in by like spring and maybe have it available for people to actually um, uh, be able to like buy and stuff maybe in like the summer or something. So I'm still figuring out everything to do with like, in terms of how to like package things or how to like print things out and how to like create the actual board games. But I am basically ready to test play. I've already drawn out my, my world map and, uh, well, at least the first half of it. Uh, and then, you know, 
I, I, I've, I'm doing a lot. I've got all the monsters are ready at least. I've got all the monsters drawn up and ready, all the stats for them, the abilities, same with like how everything's gonna work in terms of the player and like all that. It's, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's really cool. I'm really proud of it. So anyways, look forward to that. And uh, anyways, that's basically it for today's video. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.